Rhaenyra prematurely returns to King's Landing after an unsuccessful months-long tour to choose a consort. Demon also returns after conquering most of the Stepstones and being named King of the Narrow Sea. Demon swears allegiance to Viserys and hands over his crown. As the reunited brothers celebrate, Alicent confides her loneliness to Rhaenyra, who misses their friendship. After dark, Demon and Rhaenyra sneak out to explore King's Landing, drinking, attending a bawdy play, and visiting a brothel. Demon seduces a willing Rhaenyra, but unable to consummate their affair, he abandons her there. Returning to the Red Keep, Rhaenyra entices Sir Criston into having sex. Informed by his spy, Sir Otto tells the king about Demon and Rhaenyra's carousing. Alicent overhears them and privately questions Rhaenyra, who denies having sex with Demon. Viserys confronts Demon, who, hungover and disheveled, seemingly confirms the accusations and proposes he wed Rhaenyra. Viserys claims Demon only wants the crown and exiles him to the Vale. To avoid scandal and strengthen the throne, Viserys orders Rhaenyra to marry Sir Laenor Velaryon. Viserys dismisses Sir Otto as his hand after Rhaenyra alleges that Otto manipulates him for personal gain. Grand Maester Melos gives Rhaenyra a precautionary abortifacient tea at Viserys' request. 